Mathematics for Economist 2, SE212. This course is introduced to the student in the second year of economics, Arabic, English, and French, who registered at Credit Our System. مقرر الرياضة الاقتصادية 2 هذا المقرر يقدم لجميع طلاب قسم الاقتصاد في السنة الثانية نظام الساعات المعتمدة. Tangent planes and differential estimating change in a specific direction. The directional derivative plays the rule of n of an ordinary derivative when we want to estimate how much the value of a function f changes if we move a small distance ds from a point p node to another point nearby. So if the function f were a function of a single variable x, we would have distance of f equal the first derivative of x of f with respect to x computed at p naught time ds. We call that ordinary derivative times increment. We can derive that for a function of two or more variables. We use the formula as follows. Distance of f equal the gradient f computed at p naught times u times the distance s where u is the direction of the motion away from p naught. Applying that definition for the following example, estimate how much the value of f of x, y, z equal y times sine x plus 2y, z will it change if the point p, x, y, z moves 0.1 unit from p naught 0, 1, and 0 straight words p1 2 2 and negative 2 first we compute the vector v which is the distance from p node to p1 as follow 2 minus 0 i plus 2 minus 1 k plus negative 2 negative 0 times k which is 2 i plus j minus 2 k then the direction is the unit vector u, which equal a vector v divided by its length equal v divided 3, which is 2 divided 3 times i, 1 third times j, minus 2 third times k. So the gradient of f at p naught is as follows. Gradient f computed at 0, 1, 0 equal cos y times cosine x times i plus sine x plus 2z all times j plus 2yk and all these computed at the point 0, 1, 0 which result as i plus 2k. Therefore, the gradient f at the point zero one zero times u equal i plus two k times two third i plus one third j minus two third k, which resulted as two third minus four divided three equal two third. Then the change df that result from the moving ds equal point one unit away 
from in the direction of u approximately as this is f equal gradient f computed at p nodes times u times distance s equal negative two thirds times point one is approximately equal negative point six seven. Second part of our lecture how to express a function of two variables in linear form, which we call it linearize a function of two variables. Let's consider the following definition. The linearization of a function f of x and y at a point x node y node where the function f is a differentiable function is a function given by capital L of x and y equal small f computed at x node y node plus partial derivative of f with respect to x at computed at x node y node times x minus x node plus partial derivative of f with respect to y computed at x node y node times y minus y node. Okay, let's see that example. Example 2. Find the linearization of the function f of x y equal x square minus x times y plus half y square plus 3 at the point 3 and 2. To solve that example, we first evaluate that the function f, the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y at the point 3, 2. So we get f 3 and 2 equal 9 minus 6 plus 2 plus 3 equal 8. Partial derivative of f with respect to x equal 2x minus y computed at the point 3 and 2 gets a 4. And the partial derivative of f with respect to y equal minus x plus y. Evaluated at the point 3 and 2, you get negative 1. Given the equation capital L of x, y, is as follow f computed at x0 y0 plus first derivative of f with respect to x computed at x0 y0 times x minus x naught plus the first derivative of f with respect to y computed at x naught y naught times y minus y naught you get LXY equal 8 plus 4 times X minus 3 minus Y minus 2. Simplify that, you get 4X minus Y minus 2. So the linearization at the point 3 and 2 is capital L of X and Y equal 4X minus Y minus 2. The error in the standard linear approximation. Suppose we have a function f has a continuous first and second partial derivative, derivative through an open set containing a rectangular r centered at the point x naught y naught. And f cap m is an upper bound for the value, absolute value of the second derivative with respect to x and second derivative with respect to y and the absolute value of second derivative of x and y on r. Then the error e of x and y incurred 
in replacing small f x y on R, it is linearization as follows. L capital L of x and y equal small f computed at x naught y naught plus the first derivative of f with respect to x computed at x naught y naught times x minus x naught plus the first derivative of y computed at x naught y naught times y minus y naught will satisfy the inequality, the absolute error term of x and y, less than or equal half of cap m multiplied by the absolute value x minus x naught plus the absolute value of y minus y naught all squared. Note, to make the absolute value of error x and y small for a given m, we just make the absolute value of x minus x naught and the absolute value of y minus y naught small enough. Example 3. Using the function given in example 2, find an upper bound for the error in the approximation of small f of x, y approximately equal capital L of x and y over the rectangular R absolute value x minus 3 let or equal 0.1 and the absolute value of y minus 2 let or equal 0.1 Express the upper bound as the percentage of the value of f computed at 3 and 2. The value of f at the center of rectangle. We start our solution by finding the second partial derivative with respect to x, y, and the maxit of x, y, and evaluate them at the point, at the given point. So, as we know the function equal x squared minus x, y plus half y squared plus 3. So the second derivative of the function with respect to x equal 2 and the second partial derivative with respect to y equal negative 1 while the mix makes its second partial derivative of f with respect to x and y equal negative 1 so the absolute value is were 2 1 1 therefore m equal 2 as a, an upper bound Substituting in the equations the absolute error term of x, y less than half m times product x minus x naught absolute value plus y minus y naught absolute value that term all square. We can get substitute m by 2 and the term x minus x naught y minus y naught by the value 0.1 and 0.1 we get the absolute value we get the absolute value of the error term of x and y let them equal 0.1 plus 0.1 all squared which result as 0.04 to change that as a percentage of the f computed at 3 and 2 which is 8 the error term is no greater than 0.04 divide 8 multiply by 100 we get 0.5 percent higher order linearization approximation we can generalize what we get before in second order or third order and etc so for second order 
we can get the L of X and Y as follow. Capital L of X and Y equal the function F computed at X note Y note plus the first partial derivative of F with respect to X computed at X note Y note multiplied by X minus X note plus the first partial derivative of f with respect to y computed at x node y node times y minus y node plus 1 divided 2 factorials multiplied by 3 terms as follows the second partial derivative of f with respect to x computed at x node y node multiply by x minus x naught all square plus 2 the mixed second derivative with respect to x y computed at x naught y naught time x minus x naught time y minus y naught plus the second partial derivative of f with respect to y computed at x naught y naught times y minus y naught all square Can you think how to get the third ordered approximation? Differential. As we did for a function of single variable to study a change on the function, we substitute with a small change in x. We call it delta x. So in general, if we have a function, of two variables or more. So if we move from x naught y naught to the point x naught plus dx and y naught plus dy nearby, the resulting change will be df equal partial derivative of f with respect to x computed at x note y note times dx plus partial derivative of y computed at x note y note times dy. In the linearization of f is called total differential of f. Consider the following example, example number four. Your company manufactures right circular cylinder molasses storage tanks that are 24 feet high edge with radius R equals six feet. How sensitive are the tank's volume to small variation in height and radius? To solve this example, let us consider first the, the function of value v, which is given by pi v equal by r squared times h. The total differential gives the approximation for the change in value as follows. df equal the first derivative of V with respect to R computed at 0 0.5 and 225 times dr plus the first derivative of V at the 0 0.5 and 25 times dh equal 2 pi times R times h computed at 5 and 25 dr plus pi times r square computed at 5 and 225 dh which result as 250 pi times dr plus 25 pi times dh thus a one unit change in radius will change the volume by 250 pi units why a one unit change 
and height will change the volume by 25 pi. Can you interpret what you're finding? For a function of more than two variables, we have the following routine. Step one, the linearization of f, x, y, z at the point p node, x node, y node, and z node as L of x, y, z equal f computed at p node plus the first partial derivative of f with respect to x computed at p node times x minus x node plus the first partial derivative of f with respect to y computed at p node times y minus y node plus the first partial derivative of f with respect to z computed at p node times z minus z node. And the error term is given by the absolute error term less than or equal half of m multiplied by x minus x naught absolute value plus the absolute value y minus y naught plus the absolute value z minus z naught all squared. And finally, the third point, the total differential is given by df equal the first partial derivative of f with respect to x computed at p naught times x plus the first partial derivative of f with respect to y computed at p naught times dy plus the first partial derivative of f with respect to z computed at p naught times dz. Consider the following example. Find the linearization L x y z of the function f of x y and z equal x squared minus x time y plus 3 sine z at the point 2 1 and 0. Find the upper bound for the error in court and replacing f by l on the rectangular r x absolute value minus 2 less than equal 0.01 and the absolute value y minus 1 less than or equal 0.02 and the absolute value of z less than or equal 0.01